everybody. Welcome back to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. It's Melissa and it's National Ag Day. Thanks for joining us in the barn. We actually are getting 225 Cornish Rock Cross meat bird chicks within about 24 hours. So my son Drew and I were actually in the barn setting up the brooder. So we want to show you what goes into setting up our brooder. Just a quick 101 on setting up the brooder for them. And Drew's helping me out right now behind the camera. I really appreciate him. I want to ask you to please subscribe to Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. And in celebration of National Ag Day, I want to show you something that I've had a lot of fun with today. Shout out to one of my friends, Haley, another couple of my friends, Jill and Darla. We had the most fun with this this morning. They got me, Haley got me, the cutest, funnest gift. I can't wait to show y'all. So we specialize in meat chickens, the Cornish Rock Cross meat chickens. And Haley got me this necklace and it looks just like our portly little white meat chickens and i have to give you a little bit of the backstory on this all of our friends and and we we go along with it we joke about how our family like our household the five of us is kind of like the chicken mafia of southeast ohio and it's all because just we're always making deals on selling eggs and making deals on selling poultry from the birds that we raise and it seems like we're always either selling poultry to customers or taking birds to the meat processor, all kinds of things. So they joke around with us that we're the chicken mafia. And I just thought that was the neatest thing. Haley found that for me and thought of doing that. So you'll see me wearing that in future videos at some point, but that's in celebration of National Ag Day. So why would you raise chickens? There's really only two reasons you'd raise chickens. And poultry is how my household, the five of us, that's how we're involved directly with agriculture, at least one way. My husband's family also farms crops and cattle, and my sons work in the agriculture industry. So as a household, though, directly involved in agriculture, we raise poultry. So what are the two reasons that anybody would want to raise chickens? Eggs or meat? And so I'm going to talk about the meat birds. First of all, Drew's going to look up close here at these meat birds. As I said, they're Cornish Rock Cross meat birds. And so you can tell a size difference here in one of the birds. The biggest bird, she's actually our bird that we call Minnie the meat bird. And the story behind her is that she's older than most of the birds that we keep because she didn't grow super fast when she was younger. So she didn't go to the processor with her flock. But she is the size full grown of a bird that we would consider ready to go to the processor. So about a six week old bird, that's the size we would expect them to be for this breed. These two birds, the smaller birds, are four weeks old. So basically we expect in the next two weeks that these birds will grow to her size or bigger and be ready to go to the processor. And so like I said, we will get whole chickens out of them or cuts of chicken and meat is one reason you would choose to raise birds. So we'll look at the second reason at the end of the video. But what goes into getting our brooder ready is sizing it for the birds coming in. So we have 225 birds coming in and we made a space with short walls and plenty of room for them that's about 15 foot by 10 foot maybe. And the things we want in it is bedding, something that's a good footing for them that's also absorbent, that's gonna soak up moisture from their manure. We also want a heat source because chicks need it to be about 95 degrees. So we're using the heat lamps. This is pretty standard with raisin chicks, 250 watt bowl. And we'll plug those all in this evening so that they're ready to go when our chicks are getting here within about 24 hours. We want this all warmed up for them. Um, we also will have waters down. These hold about a gallon water and we'll set them down in a line in the middle there, we'll probably have about 12 of them in here total. We also have to feed our birds. So after they've been in and settled down, about four hours later, we'll put down feed trays. We'll probably have about six of them at least to start with. And after about a week goes by, then we'll add the tops back on to those feeders. They just hinge on and we'll be able to have the tops on them and that keeps the feed inside cleaner. So we'll just have those down as the birds get a little older. The last thing about the pen I want to show you is that this board here. One of my recommendations, if you're raising chicks, whether they're pullets or whether they're meat birds, 
is that you either round out the corners or you box them out with something diagonal. We just take boards and we set them in there. And the reason we do that is so that they don't push each other into the corner and smash each other. And so we save this for last. The reason most of us raise chickens is for eggs. And so these came from our mixed breed flock of egg layer hens. We have Orpingtons and Isa Browns. So a really nice collection of eggs today. That's only part of them. So thanks for joining us at Twin Oaks Farm Poultry and happy National Ag Day.